All right, everybody, thanks for joining me. I'm at the kitchen table here today. And uh, again, working on this power supply project. And, you know, I love the how-to videos that I've seen. And don't get me wrong, I've seen, I'm watching some right now on my laptop as, as I work because I just am trying to figure out everything I've got to do. My only problem is, is I've always seen these projects when they're already done, when they've already done the hard work of figuring out what needs to be done. Now, I'm no electrician. I have no, um, no background electronics, uh, as my bird apparently will attest to. He was with me in college. But I just, I don't know all that stuff that needs to be done. So I'm working here today with this Insignia 400 watt PC power supply. I believe I got it off Amazon, like 20 bucks. 15 20 bucks somewhere in there you know with shipping eventually you get some you get some uh pretty decent deals there i mean you can get them at walmart you might even be lucky to find one at a uh at a thrift store that has been has been turned in um so you never know what you're going to find but anyway i got one that hasn't been used on a computer some people have taken them out of old towers that they're not using anymore and, and they've had good luck as well but again i'm turning mine uh Taking mine out new, I should say, and that's what I'm going to do here as we go along. So we'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and just unbox this thing, shall we? And see what we got. I bought it this spring before I knew I was going to be moving. So needless to say, train stuff has hit the back burner. There's your power cord. You're going to need this. Eventually, I'm going to hook my power supply in. I know there's a power interrupt switch or whatever like you'd use to the front of the computer. I'm going to put on this light switch. Then I'm going to mount into some fascia board because I want the power supply to have power all the time, but I want to be able to disconnect the lights and um, turn on the lights on and off, uh, turn on everything we've got, you know, just things like that. I, I haven't decided. I might have more switches along the way that'll interrupt for the lights. So this might be for like switch lights and lights up that go along. Uh, the train that'll be on all the time, whether it's night or day, like signal lights maybe. And I'll have more of these along the way for like cities and districts where the lights don't have to be on until maybe nighttime. So I got myself a little gang, single gang box, a um, little placeholder and the switch. But that's for a little ways down the road. So anyway, getting back uh, into this, um, unbagging this power supply we got right here. Uh, wait and see what we've got for cords and this is a SATA drive and your typical uh, looks like a 20 pin I believe 20 pin plus four uh, drive or even maybe more than that I don't know it's it's been a while yes my backgrounds in computers but I haven't used that background in a while now the thing I like about this one is I know they say you want to get some heat sinks on these and I probably will find some way of doing it but they got a nice big fan on the top I like that design that was the reason I picked this one out when I saw the the uh, information online about it but obviously as you can see here we got a lot of cords that we're gonna to have to unbundle a couple reds oranges yellows these are all yellows here um, again what you need these I believe are the power supply I go to the front power here. Uh, it's kind of hard to see when I don't have it on the camera. Okay, so doing a little bit of work here, looking it through. Uh, one thing I know I need to do before I can do any of this is separate out the wires. And I've got them all corded uh, differently depending on where they're going to be going. And of course, that's a, a different situation. It all depends on what you're going to find. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these wires apart and cut this cording around it. And uh, we'll be back. And I'll show you what I've got once everything's all separated out. All right, guys, so I'm back. Right now, we have a little bit different setup than what you saw the last time you were here. I went through and stripped all the wires off. And as you can see right now, I have these black wires. These are all the ground wires. They are out and separated. I have the, the only ones I don't have tied up right now are these negative 5 volts, uh, the yellow and black. I have the plus 5 volts with the standby. 5 volt here uh, that's always on and then we also have oh, I'm sorry that's the 12 volt plus and minus 12 volt is yellow red is 5 volt with the always on and then I have the plus and minus 3 volt which is orange so you got orange 3 volt red 5 volts yellows are 12 volts and the blacks are negative obviously 
Now, uh, there are a couple other options. Now, this is going to be underneath my layout. That's the plan for right now. Um, I will be having this out of sight. That's why I have the light switch hooked up. I bought an LED up at Radio Shack. Yes, I found a Radio Shack uh, independent dealer yet where you can still order Radio Shack parts where they can still get them online. And then they... Uh, um, they put them on a little storefront. There's still a few of those left. Um, so except the thing is you can't find them online. You just got to kind of luck of the draw. Thankfully, I've got one about three miles away right next to the Home Depot store. Uh, also took a play out of uh, Tom Kovichak's book here. I've got the 5 watt, 5 ohm resistor. Uh, Tom from Tom's Trains and Things said that this is a, probably the best option to really get those fluctuations out of the plus five and the and the, the 12 volt and the five volt uh he was getting some four sevens with the with the resistor he was getting fives i won't be able to test it quite yet uh we'll come, come to that in a little bit once i hook it all up this will be down to a two pronger once i get it done but all i had was this to test it out right now right now what i'm doing on this part of the segment is testing to make sure it works it is plugged in I've got the power supply plugged in. My bird has just verified it to me. Uh, it is plugged in, but as you can see, it's not running because I don't have power going to it yet. So I've already flipped the power switch on in the back. No change. You can hear it turn off. But here I've got my, my uh, wires running. Now what I have the wire in yet, I have a red and black 5 volt uh, going through to the 5 watt, 5 ohm resistor. And then there was a gray wire an indicator light wire. That's what you'd have hooked to the front of your computer to wire in and say, hey, it's on. That's what turns on that little indicator light on the front of your desktop, which is hooked to this green LED, which I did take a play out of someone else's book and put a green LED, 12 volt. I wasn't sure if I was going to do red, yellow, or green. They only had green at the Radio Shack. The other two were on order. Speaking of green, the green wire here at the bottom, that's hooked in to, I've got it into some uh, prongs right now, and they're hooked into the light switch, which is in here. So right now, if everything goes well, I also have the sense wire here. The sense wire is hooked in uh, to uh, this spot right here. Uh, and that's where we're hooked in right now. That's what allows the three volt uh, to work at this, uh, at this juncture. So if everything goes all right, we have this own thing. We'll get to another segment where I test it. But right now, if everything goes according to plan, when I flip the switch, the fan should come on and we should have a green light. So, all right, here we go, moment of truth. Let's turn it on and see if she works. Well, that was a dud. Well, we'll come back and get this fixed. Well, we're a few days, weeks uh, here after I uh, shot the initial parts of this video uh, and uh, some lessons learned. So, those are always good, right? Lessons learned. Well, I, I've learned that with the 12 volt LED, I should have a 12 volt line going through. Again, you might go, duh, Dustin. Of course you need to. Well, like I said, Dustin's not good at electronics and remembering all the voltage. That's why I stopped going to school for electronics engineering. So, also, with the uh, power switch, uh, to get that hooked in correctly again, I have the green and black going back into the power switch. It's kind of hard to see here. I'm trying to make it look like green and black going into the power switch. Um, the sense wire for the 3 volt that I was talking about does not get hooked up to a negative wire. The sense wire gets hooked up to, hey, i got to find it now because I can see it. I'm colorblind, so you got to work with me. Gets hooked up to the 3 volt wire. Oh, God. Try being colorblind in doing this. Um, again, this gray one, didn't use it. I might cap it off here later on and figure out. But... Also, one thing, I, I took uh, Tom Kovicek, if you ever watch my video, which I'm sure you probably won't, but if you do, if anybody knows Tom, I took your 5 watt, 5 ohm resistor, I hooked it up kind of like what you did in your video, and I turned it on, and Steve Brown from It's My Railroad will attest, I was uh, chatting during one of his Track Smack uh, episodes uh, while I was working on finishing this up, and all of a sudden when I flipped it on, it started smoking, and it popped really quick. So, needless to say, I don't have the 5 watt, 5 ohm resistor on here anymore, but eh, live and learn. But anyway, that being said, I got it back here in the box, I wanted, in the train room, I should say, and I wanted to see it, um, see it come out. So, I'll let you guys see how I finished it up. Uh, so, it's sitting here right now. Uh, yeah, I got my DME shells I'm still working on in the background. But here we go the moment of truth, take two, and 
action. Look at that, we got a green light, we got a fan that operates. I'm not gonna hook up my ohm tester again tonight, but everything seems to be working. So it's gonna get mounted back into the uh, behind the fascia as soon as I figure out how I'm gonna do it and how I can do that while mounting this board on the side of the train. It's it's there's a lot to come yet, but it's gonna happen. Um, but again, just wanted to show you it does work. See, look at that. LED goes out, LED comes on. Look at that. I'm happy. So if you stuck around for this whole video, thanks. If you didn't, I understand. But uh, that's what's going on with this project in my train room. Thanks for hanging out with me. See, look, comes on. Do it again.